For decades, bees have been imported into Britain from warmer countries to replenish stocks and to serve as early awakening pollinators for fruit farms. But Brexit means bringing bee colonies into mainland Britain is now banned. For Kent beekeeper Patrick Murphitt, who voted for Brexit but now regrets it, it's a calamity. I've been in business for 40 years. I never thought I could get hoodwinked into a process that was going to be detrimental not just for me but for the country. It's, it's, um, it's farcical. The colder weather means many of Patrick's bees don't make it through winter. We put deposits down on beehives back in March last year. Yeah, you know, they can't just suddenly go, bomb, that's that trade finished. I am liable for the 15 million bees that are being reared for us in southern Italy. I'm liable for that invoice. Patrick's plan is to import his Italian bees through the open Irish border and bring them across from Northern Ireland. They said that they would either turn them back, destroy them and prosecute me for bringing them in. What was your reaction? I asked for the legislation that they were relying on to be able to take this action. Never got it because there is no legislation to stop us. This is an issue that isn't just affecting beekeepers. In just a few months time, these pear trees will start to blossom. Fruit farmers here in Kent rely on bees like the ones Patrick keeps to pollinate their crop. Without them, they are 20% less productive. Once those numbers are reduced, it gets less economical for the farmer, but we have to replace that crop with a European crop. It's calamitous. Honestly, you will look back in 10 years time and go, how could someone put a complete industry in such a predicament? You know, it is definitely the death knell for the, bee for the beekeeping industry. We cannot replace those losses from our native hives. It's impossible. The government says it's aware of the issue and is working with the devolved administrations to find a solution. Patrick's plan to import from Ireland is still on. Luke Hanrahan, Euronews, Kent.